Lydia Daydal, Fight Connect TV, and I am backstage at Cage Conflict number three with a victorious Sean McCormick. Well, listen, I have to say, I don't know how he came out of that first round. Oh my God, so, some adversity, and like, um, like we knew he was going to be a tough wrestler, and we, we had been training towards it, so I had got my strength and conditioning right down. Um, big Kyle McClurkin, Paul Hughes, all them boys, fresh man every minute. Uh, so I knew, uh, personally I thought I was going to go into the third, I thought he was going to give that for another round, yes. but I was just remaining calm, I could hear Pat and Shando's every word, and I was just staying calm until the finish, I actually thought he would maybe go two rounds up, and I knew I'd put him away in the third, because none of them want to stand, I'm in training with Donard, flat out striking coach, and like, nobody wants to stand when you're in training with him, because his boxing's next level. I was something. I think I was coming out uh, just as uh, kind of uh, the first minute of the first round, and like this, you're so tall and you're big, and he literally was throwing you like yeah. a rag doll. And I, I just, I was saying like, I thought mentally you would be broken, no, it was, which it made the finish yeah. so much more sweeter because yeah. how you like adversity. That's what yeah. it is. Like you stay calm, collected, and you just like compose yourself. If you ask, I went back to the corner and I was just chatting them calm because I knew that was happening in my head, warming up. I was like, he's going to take me down loads. And I was watching the McGregor and Mendes fight on repeat. Because McGregor gets tucked down four or five times in that fight, straight back up, land that uppercut. And that's what I was looking for. Um, but when you have like Danish Dave, Kyle, my brother Gareth, they're big, big men, 95, 96 kg taking you down. And I knew I can get back up. But I was chatting to someone there and we didn't know that he had like, he's like a judo, Moldovian judo champion and a wrestler, high wrestling pedigree. I didn't know that. So as soon as he touched probably me, probably just as well to be honest. Yeah, as soon as he touched me and I felt myself lift, I wasn't trying to like stop it because I knew I was lifted. I was now thinking I need to scramble and keep tearing him out. I think it was the uppercut in the second when he was coming in, uh, rocked him a wee bit because I felt him come on me weak and I knew I had him. And then I started putting the knees in, felt him go and he, he slid down my legs. And I've been like I was just a striker when I came to uh, Fight Academy. That's my debut under Fight Academy. Um, but you know, grappler now, getting the choke, yeah. And it was like, I mean, the way you actually set it up, it was like the first time you tried, you kind of had the leg come around, yeah. it didn't work out, it went yeah. back again, and then you, you tried it again and you got it. Well, so it was really he, was so, he was so strong at the hips, yeah. and I was trying to sprawl him out, but I just couldn't. And he was kind of covering his head up, and the ref, was, the ref kept shouting to me for punching him in the back of the head, and I was like, like, what do you want from me here? He's covering up, stop the fight. You know, he's not letting me punch him. Yeah. Uh, so I had to work the choking. I kind of had to take the leg out, come round him, as you said, and get it done. Like so, I'm very, I'm very happy with it now. Yeah, absolutely, you should be. So uh, you're saying it's the first fight under Fight Academy Ireland. It, it, when you're going out to fight under a new gym, under new coaches, is there a little bit of apprehension where you're like, oh, you know, it's the first time, or was everything, you know, the preparation thing, was there? The thing was, I was at New Era Mixed Martial Arts and respect to them. I was with them for ages and left them respectively. Uh, because I was up training at Fight Academy four times a week anyway. So after the last loss, e even before that last fight, I'd said to Dar Toman that win or lose, I'm going to Fight Academy. It's beside my work and me and Pat just click. I feel like I go into class and Pat shows me something. You know, it's mad. Like I said to Gareth uh, before, he's kind of like, you ever see Batman when he shows up and he gets some like cool new gadgets or something? That's like you come in and Pat's like um, Morgan Freeman. He's like the Morgan Freeman. He comes in and he and he shows you some new choke and you're like, let's do it. He and does have a look of Morgan Freeman yeah, about no, right? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Talks like him too. Um, but yeah, so he's brilliant. And Sean, those, like, you see the atmosphere back here and I've heard you talk about it. This is my first time being back here. And as you seen earlier, I was stoked. I was pretty damn stoked. Um, great bunch of lads, great, great sparring partners, hardest spars. Um, we, we spar harder than we fight, so, <clears throat> and after that last loss of mine on uh, Clan Wars against a tough opponent uh, and a close decision, I just ramped my training up tenfold, you know, just, I didn't cut any corners this time, so I'm very happy. Well, you should be, congratulations, yeah, really, I enjoyed it and it was a very uh, test. It's, it's great meeting you as well, because yeah, it's the first time we've ever met. Yeah. Lovely to meet you too. And was that your dad I met earlier yeah, on? Yeah, daddy, and I met your brother yeah, as well. They all go fighting family. The, the McCormicks. Look They're right all here. Look Come right on down. Over. But listen, yeah, the great win. It was a testament to your character yeah. and your fighting spirit. So well done. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Sean McCormick for Fight Connect TV. Brilliant.